Hello, my name is Jessica. Welcome to my channel where creativity comes first. I post a bunch of random shenanigans including beauty and art and vlogging stuff. I've recently decided that I'm going to start an ASMR channel because I'm feeling very passionate and excited about it lately and I want it to have its own home. So once that's started, I will let y'all know. Today's fun fact about me is that I am horrendous with directions. In fact, when I went to grad school, my department was in this very small building and almost all of our classes were in the exact same place. But the shape of the building was a perfect square. So every time I'd go in, I wouldn't remember which side of the building was which, so I would lap the entire perimeter of the small square building to find where my classroom was. And I did this for two years. So let's get into today's video. I'm very excited because that's what one says at the beginning of a video. But I am always excited to talk about makeup. So it's hashtag facts. Okay. Today I'm going to tell you about all of the best spring palettes I have in my collection. So let's dig in. First, I'm going to start out with my Profusion palette. I have this yellow palette here. What is it called? Yellow Fusion. I have an old video dedicated to this palette where I made a yellow look. This palette performs okay. It's not amazing, it's not terrible, but it's $5, and I like that there's a good variety of yellows in there. And yellow is like the most springy color of all colors, and I've been really, really loving yellow. So, I just had to pick it. Just even looking at it, I'm like, oh, so cute, so springy, so fun. And then I also picked up my Profusion Neon palette because... Bright colors. Springtime. Science. Uh, yeah, it has a lot of pretty springy colors in there. And a, there's some good pastel-y tones like these right here. And like kind of like a salmon and a coral color. And they're super pretty. I really like them a lot. Um, I reach for this palette quite a bit and incorporate it into many a look. Then I grabbed two Juvia's Place palettes because I feel like they're kind of companions. They're very similar. Um, they both have similar color stories, but they're slightly different. This one is the Zulu. Looks like this. Both of these are great colorful rainbow palettes. Um, but yeah, they had just have some like really nice springy colors. I don't know how else to describe it. Like yellow spring, orange spring, green spring. I don't know. I am not the authority on springness, but when I looked at this springness, I'm just over here making up words. Science. Anyway, it, I think it's springy, you know, Easter eggs and crap. And then this one is also springy with Easter egg colors and crap. This one is the Warrior 3. And as you can see, it's similar to the other one. This one's just more of like a deeper tones, kind of more traditional rainbow. But I think they work really well together, so I was just like, this, both. This counts as one. It, it doesn't matter. I didn't give myself a limit on how many palettes I was going to talk about. Now, I also have this Nomad palette. It is the Tokyo Harajuku palette. Nomad Cosmetics recently came under fire for their culturally appropriative palette about Shanghai. And upon reflecting, I do think a handful of their palettes. What's the word I'm looking for? Like capitalize on other cultures and that's like a form of white supremacy. I am not great at um, expressing thoughts that I have not clearly developed in my mind. The point is I'm not supporting the brand at the moment. I'm taking some time off to see what they do see what's going to happen. But I do have this palette in my collection and I still use it. And it's a beautiful color story. Very pastel for spring. And then last, but certainly not least, I grabbed an oldie book goodie. It is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette, which 
that I've had for a couple years or so. And it's just got a bunch of really fun, colorful tones that I feel like you can get a huge variety of looks with. You can do more neutrals and you can do something more colorful. And like these pink shades are so, so good. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really versatile and good for this time of year. So I included it. You guys, I forgot to talk about the most springy palette I have in my collection. I'm so sorry. I said the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette was the last one, but it's not. The Impressionism palette by Muse Beauty is a wonderful spring palette. Look at that color story. It's so pretty. And I, it just, it reminds me of all the flowers I see in California, like this orange for the poppies. It's so nice. And obviously I think it's very, very springy. So sorry that I forgot it. Now, if you read the title of the video, you, my friends, are probably aware that I'm running a giveaway on my channel, this channel, Just Your Average Jess, me, Average <laughs> Army, you, you, me, you, us, we're doing a thing. Anywho, I'm going to run some footage of all the things you could win by entering the giveaway, and then I will go over the rules for you. The items in this giveaway are two sheet masks from the brand Glam Up. These were left over from an Ipsy bag. I am also giving away this Blush and Glow One palette from Profusion. It is a highlighter and blush palette. And then I'm also giving away two blushes from BH Cosmetics. These are in their floral collection. One is in the shade Bahama Bronze and the other is Honolulu Hideaway. The next item in the giveaway is a primer infused shimmer blush from e.l.f. in the shade Always Hazy. I love this formula. So good. I am also giving away three lip products in this giveaway. One is from Milani, which is a gloss. Then we have a lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills and another lipstick from Wet n Wild. I am also giving away the Chillin' in Chicago brush set from BH Cosmetics. I absolutely adore their brushes. I think they are so soft and blend very well. And I thought this was a nice set of eye brushes with a really pretty handle, so I hope you enjoy them. I'm also giving away the AOA Studio Lashes in the style Amanda. These are from Shop Miss A. Then I have another Profusion product, which is the Bold Eyeshadow Palette. I am also giving away the Love Lust Disco Palette by NYX Cosmetics. This was meant to be done around Valentine's Day, so the color story is very romantic, but you know, you can't go wrong with the nice romantic tones all year round. I am also giving away the Wondrous Seascape Palette by Wander Beauty. This looks like a beautiful palette with a pop of blue and those shimmers look so shiny and I hope that one of you will really enjoy this product. Okay, everyone, the rules to enter this giveaway are number one, you must be subscribed to my channel and if you sub to unsub, then you will be disqualified from future giveaways. You must be a public subscriber, so that way I can check to make sure that you are subscribed to me. Three, you have to watch and like the video. <laughs> I mean, if you're here, I'm assuming you watch the video, but like it for me as well, pretty please. Then you must leave a comment with a way to contact you, your Instagram handle or your email, and tell me your favorite thing about the spring season. There are also bonus entries available for this giveaway. If you would like a bonus entry, you can follow me on Instagram. That would be one bonus entry. You could get another bonus entry by watching one of my old videos and leaving a comment and saying that you came from this spring giveaway video. Then if you want even more entries, you can do the refer a friend program. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you, <laughs> my husband just looked at me like I am crazy, like I'm the weirdest sales lady ever. <laughs> Who says that? Stop it! I said it. People do that. You were for a friend. Anyway, so if you know someone who you think may be interested in subscribing and would want to enter this giveaway, if you send them my way, you also get another entry. Actually, make that two. That one's worth two. That's a twofer because it's so good. So I will leave all the directions in the description box. You can double check everything because that was a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs as I normally am. Um, one thing probably most important thing to note is that the, that this giveaway is US only. I will do an international giveaway if and when I ever get to 1,000 subscribers. If you want that to happen, I don't know, tell your sister's cousins, your sister's cousin is also your cousin. I am not thinking clearly. Anyway, tell your people, you know, tell the folks that you know to subscribe to my channel so I could move this process along a little faster. Anyway, um, please enter and uh, I wish you all the best and I will see you in the next one. I'm starting to lose my mind. I'm so sorry. Okay. Please take good care of yourself and others and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. If you would like, oh, <gasps> Yeah, what's that? Oh my god, you're so rude. Ay, <laughs> Roberto.